Hi guys, Ryu here with not have it for Blender. In this one, I'm gonna show you all about the add-on called World Align by Nick Bear. Now, World Align add-on is fucking amazing, okay? It, it, I'm so glad that someone finally came up with this shit because it was driving me mental. Now, you know the orientation in Blender, right? The location, rotation, when you when you apply them, you're fucked. Well, this add-on unfucks this, okay? So it's a new it's an unfuck too, okay, in our life. One unfuck is in Mesh Machine, and this one is a second unfuck, okay? And I love the way it unfucks things, because it's just beautiful. So, two words before we start, guys. Josh and I on Patreon, so if you would like to support us, link in the video description. Three tiers, tons of perks, amazing crowd fantastic opportunity to learn and improve so grab the link and check us out thanks when you have a cube and you rotate it right and you know let's go to end panel two here you will see that rotation will shift and when i move it location will shift so when i press alt uh, r uh, rotation will reset and alt g location will reset however if I'm gonna, you know, move it somewhere here and rotate it, and I'm gonna press uh, Control A and apply all transformations, everything is gonna get reset, and Blender will think now that, you know, this is the default orientation, uh, rotation and location of this cube. So when I'm gonna uh, try to, you know, move it on local axis, local axis doesn't exist, because, you know, if I had this cube here, right, and rotate it, and I press G and Z and Z, that enters automatically a local orientation. In this case, it doesn't because it's just simply set to zero. So what I would need to do in order to make this, you know, work, I would need to go here, go here, uh, grab a, a custom orientation, and then G Z, and you know, and I'm and I'm cooking. But uh, if I wanted to move it on global, I need to go back to global. It's bloody annoying. So you know, when you want to array this, you can't because I mean you can, but it's just you know because the, the orientation is uh, you know is aligned you cannot array it this way you see what i mean so it's a problem so now this add-on solves the issue uh, because when i have a cube right and i'm gonna rotate it and i'm gonna move it and i'm gonna apply it right i'm gonna go to this add-on panel and i got three panels okay panel one panel two and panel three now let's um, create some kind of a indentation here so we know which face is which all right it's going to just be easier to follow it so what we need to do is select face number one and the main face and that's important so select face number one and think to which axis you want to align it let's say we want to align it to z axis which is you know vertical so z axis and store selected faces select this face select let's say y axis and store selected faces and now we got two options yeah we can click rotate and align or bake rotation and align and i'll explain how it works now if i'm gonna click on rotate and align uh watch the cube right boom okay it aligned this one to z and this one to y exactly how you want it to if i'm gonna go to object data you will see the location and rotation uh, where it actually reset however rotation is different than zero and location is different than zero now location was actually restored so if i press alt um alt g it's going to move it back to the original point and it's going to be back to zero however rotation is not being reset back to zero it is because the add-on works in a way that it calculates its current applied rotation based on the word origin i mean the word um, orientation so how the axis flow right and sort of calculate it backwards, which is why you got this kind of weird rotation. But you know, you can always reset it and you're done. But there's another way of doing this, uh, okay? And you can use the other panel of this add-on. So again, if I'm gonna align this to Z and align this to Y, and I'm gonna click on bake rotation, right? And I click align, nothing here will change. But the way the add-on works now is a bit different because watch the values here, right? If I press Alt G, all right my cube recess to zero the location when i press alt r rotation recess to zero okay and that's the difference right now this add-on has many more uses than just this and i want to show you this because it's just freaking amazing so if i have a cylinder right 
and I'm gonna rotate it and move it somewhere here and I'm gonna you know inset this a little bit okay and grab these two faces and um, insert them as well and let's say that I wanted to align these two faces with Y axis and or let's say Z axis just for fun and this one with I axis okay so what I'm gonna go what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, align these two main faces right with let's say Z and this one I'm gonna align with let's say X okay and I'm going to click on rotate and align and boom and if I reset my location look what happened it aligned this these two faces perfectly with Z axis in a way that the Z axis go goes exactly through the middle edge between these two. So if you have a perfectly symmetrical object, it's extremely easy to align it this way to any axis you want. It's just brilliant. But check this out, it goes deeper. So we're gonna grab a sphere, you know, a uh, quad sphere, uh, control two and apply geo and let's slice the top off and apply the boolean. So now we got something like this, right? And we're going to mess this up a little bit with proportional editing, okay? So I got the proportional editing turned on here by pressing O. And you know, I'm gonna mess up this and um, add a little bit of uh, variation, right? So now if I wanted to align this, right, so I'm going to select this face and press uh, add selected to Z. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, W select mode with, by pressing W a few times. And I'm going to select several faces, you know, like just a whole bunch of them. And what this add-on will do, it will average, okay, it will average uh, the faces. Let's do it again. And align uh, the... It will, it will create another face out of the sum of all these faces orientations, okay? If it makes any sense. And align this face to, to the proper axis. So let's al align it with Y axis, so this one, okay? And uh, click on store selected faces. And now if I'm going to rotate it, this one's gonna shift here, right? Boom. So you see what I mean? It's, it's really cool the way it's been, you know, um, executed. And I think the add-on is just incredible it works flawlessly i'm working with blender 2.92 uh, so it's experimental version it's no hiccups it's very fast and i think it's just brilliant so anyway it's available on gamroad and blender market uh, it's only five bucks guys so it's, it's a steal uh, so go ahead and get it links in the video description so if you want to grab this and go through the links you can help me as well give some reviews positive reviews and some stars on gumroad uh, you know uh, for the author because i think he just deserves it uh, first of all the add-on is genius and second of all um you know it's it's already an affordable price so 100 percent, this add-on gets into my permanent loadout you know among hard ups box cutter machine add-ons you know kit ups and all these goodies like kiblerator instamat smudgers and whatnot uh, so it's just a must-have it's like kind of like a mirror tools you know or like a, imagine using this with machine tools align align option right align tool i mean just fucking incredible you know so i wish i had this uh some time ago when I was creating the, I was building the Mac for the, for the Mac course. Um, I had uh, two or three problems with rotation and I was bloody swearing because I thought, you know, how fucking difficult it is to have a tool that would solve this problem, right? So easily. And there you go, you know, someone came up with it. So I'm very grateful. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like and sub if you did and catch you in the next video.